my husband is James. Um, we call him Jimmy. Um, I call him James more than I call him Jimmy, but most people call him Jimmy. Um, we met in high school. Um, we dated for a brief time, um, kind of just went our separate ways in the end. Um, and then after my freshman year at um, Bloomington, that summer we kind of reconnected um, and we're hanging out and just kind of getting to know each other again. When the accident happened, we weren't like officially like dating or anything. We were really just reconnecting. Um, and um, I felt like we were on the way to a relationship. All of the other couples that we were with in couples care had been together and been married and and then this accident had happened or then this brain injury occurred um, and we were totally opposite. Um, you know, we had just reconnected and just been back in each other's lives and then this happened. Um, and honestly, um, there was no covenant in be between us. So honestly, we could have split um, and gone our separate ways and I don't think anyone would have thought anything about it. Um, but learning and realizing this is a blessing almost in disguise, like we can take this as a blessing because we d so much of so much of the problems that I had after the accident with family members and stuff was they wanted me to be the Shelby that they knew or act the way that, or have the same type of personality that I had before. Um, they weren't willing to accept like that this was my new normal. Um, whereas Jimmy, he was like, okay, let me learn about this and let me accept you from where you are coming from and where you are, and let's move on. Um, all these other couples in class had had, you know, lives of being together and learning each other um, in and out, and then this accident happens and kind of, it's like, throws a wrench in everything. Um, so I felt like we, starting out the way that we did, I felt like, it almost was a blessing.